Welcome to a Carfection Plus at the McLaren Senna launch and we've got a sort of exploded McLaren Senna with various parts suspended from this, this scaffolding. And I just thought I'd take you around a few of the parts because it's, it's pretty extraordinary. So we'll start off with the rear wing here. Five kilos that weighs, but it can support 100 times its own weight, so it can support 500 kilos of downforce and it's got uh, 35 degrees of, of motion when it's on the car from the, the air brake to um, DRS like that as well. Moving over, where should we go next? Monocage 3, so despite the fact this has got extra um, carbon fibre around here to help with the crash structure, they've taken some away compared to 720S um, but it weighs exactly the same, so this weighs 94 kilos which is, yeah, incredibly light. I mean, you think you know, two people could lift this up very easily, um, and yet the torsional rigidity involved in it is, is massive. We'll walk over here next, so we've got the seat. You're gonna have three different levels of padding in this, so you're gonna have uh, regular touring, or mid, um, so it's actually regular mid or touring, um, in terms of how they are. Seat, so this has got the runners on it. Um, but even so, you can see how light it is. Without the runners on it, just the shell is 3.35 uh, kilos. And it's actually hollow inside, so they inflate a bag and then take the bag out after the, um, the curing for the seat. And it is amazingly comfortable. I actually spent more time than a lot of people. And I spoke to some of the pro drivers that have been here on the launch. And they said, yeah, to be fair, sitting in it all day long, um, they haven't really got any aches and pains, which is, is pretty amazing. Move down here. This is the lightest piece on show. So this is the front fender using new carbon fibre techniques. 0.66 of a kilo. Amazing. Just incredible. It's just, yeah, for such a big part, well, there's nothing. This front part, this is five kilos, but the impressive thing about it is that, um, obviously you've got the aluminium structure out here. This includes some of the crash structure in the front as well and yet still using some of these new carbon fibre techniques, it's, it's incredibly light. We'll walk round to here. Actually, I'm going to talk about the door next, so sorry, Charlie. I'm going to dodge through here. It's like some sort of Krypton factor or, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, door weighs just under 10 kilos, uh, which is half the weight of the door on the 720S because obviously they've managed to move a lot of the uh, controls, in fact, to up in the roof, so you've got start button and door release and uh, windows and stuff like that. So yeah, ten kilos. I don't. I don't I'm probably not displaying particularly well um, the different strains between all these that it's taking to lift these up. But um, um, yeah, very light indeed. And then finally, we'll come back down here to tyres and brakes. We'll deal with the brakes first. So these discs. Amazingly light, really, for, um, for a brake disc of this size. And they take seven months to make. So they're put in an oven and it's, it's just gradually over time building up and curing these brake discs. Monoblock, monoblock calipers. They've also redone the, the booster um, cylinder in the car, so which is why, obviously, so if you combine all this, and this for me is the standout feature of the car in terms of it's braking. That's, that's what will really live with me, I think. Um, and then tyres, which have been specially developed. They're Trofeo R, specially developed with Pirelli, an asymmetric tyre. Uh, this being a front tyre, I mentioned it in the film. For me, this is a 245 section front tyre. I think I would, I would like it to be a little bit, little bit wider, to be honest, to sort of um, just give it a slightly pointier balance overall, but equally Given that this is a car that people are going to be learning in, I suppose, and finding limits, and given how approachable the overall car is, I, I do understand why they've done, as they did with P1, to be fair, they kept a relatively narrow front tyre on it. So there we go, very quick Carfection Plus um, with a few of the, the body panels and me lifting them up with my weedy cyclist's arms. So there we are. If I can lift them up, then anyone can lift them up.